Hello. I'm Abram the Safety Ape, beloved mascot of the Art of Bleeding Foundation. I'm here tonight to help you make sense of the physical and emotional catastrophe you see before you. It's natural to want to answers for human beings as well as anthropomorphic gorillas, but sometimes you need more than the warm, musky sensibilities of talking mammals. Sometimes we need robots, and when we do, we should never be ashamed to ask for help. So let's bring out our own robot, my friend and workplace subordinate, R.T., the robot teacher. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes, Abram is right. As you can infer from my smooth Tupperware-like surfaces, robotics today accommodates the gentle, organic contours of the human's emotional world. My programming exactly mirrors human compassion and sensitivity. And you can talk to me about anything, even tampons. He'll often bring them up himself. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why am I even listening to a talking gorilla? Or a robot made of storage bins. You're all adults, seriously. Some of you even have jobs. And he doesn't mean freelance graphic designer. Or makeup artist. And tribal belly dance. It's not a job. Okay. You're adults, so surely you've lost the capacity to relate to magical children's show characters such as ourselves, right? So you think. But... We're speaking to the child within. We're speaking the language of the subconscious mind. That's why our mouths don't move. If this all sounds like a bunch of mumbo-jumbo to you, it's probably because it's art. And with art, you just might get nudity. Lady nudity. Don't put your lens cap back on yet, if you know yes, what I those mean. those will be out in a minute. And with them, the victims of this terrible auto accident. Tonight, you'll witness their process of accident regression and their struggle for transcendence through the healing omnipotence of art. And after that, a brief intro on my hot new safety campaign and its viability as an animated series and or line of character merchandise. If there's time. Well, let's get this accident regression started. Uh, bring them on out. Let's see what we have to work with. Very good. All right. Is it going to be a problem if one is dead? Uh, you did. You did say they were stabilized. They get more stable than dead. Uh, lay that one out on the chalked outline. Oh, well, uh, this one's already making art, and we haven't even started our regression. Oh, that's the one who bit off his tongue. Yeah. Yeah, the, the spongy bit. Okay, I know you can't talk, but you can hear, yes? With ears, yes? Hear? Nice painkillers. Not your head. Okay, good. He's not ready for this. It's like setting a bone, RT. Regression can't wait. Uh, let's get him in the car. <laughs> he, he doesn't want to. He's scared, but he knows he can do it. He has to re-experience the accident before the memories are fully repressed. Now, come on. Just get him in there. Okay. What's he, what's he doing in there? What's going on? Journey to hell and back. I can't help him now. Looks like he's screwing with a bunch of gardening stuff in the back. Uh, dribbling more blood, too. Focus on the accident. Go into the moment. You can do this. We believe in you. We know what you're going through. Uh, uh, what's his name? No, no. Anyone? We, we know what you're going through. Uh, we're here for you. We'll, we'll always be here for you. Ah! Oh, he's signaling to us. That's his sign. Yeah, he's ready. Uh, let's get him out of there. 
Okay, good. Uh, let's do it now. Uh, this is it. Uh, now the truth comes out. That tongue is really bleeding. Shouldn't we, um, I don't know, uh, get us some gauze or something? No, don't stifle his creative flow. Nurses, the canvases, quickly now. I'll get the oh, paint. No time. No paint and blood from his tongue stuff. Could possibly be more raw, more expressive. So I won't get the paint. Get over here. Okay, hold it so we can paint on it. Keep it tight. Okay. And there you go. That's it. Now you're getting the hang of it. That's it. Put your whole self into it. There. There. Okay. Look at this. He's externalizing the body memory. It's taking form right there on the canvas. So we're uh, done with the corpse, Avery? What? The, the body there. We didn't even use him. He, he was part of the reconstruction. A memory cube. Yeah, well, we're done with him, right? It's not like he's going to make art. He's done with that one. Give him another canvas. Keep him coming. Just saying, before someone trips. Move him? And waste an opportunity? Opportunity for what? Arts. Isn't that why we're all here? Don't you remember that quadriplegic woman who painted Christmas cards with a brush stuck in her mouth? Uh, Joni, or Johnny something. Uh, the, the one with the indomitable spirit. Yes, and what would be even more indomitable than making art without arms or legs? Making art while you're dead? The ultimate! Look at those oozing bandages! He's like a printing press, all inked up and ready to go! Oh, Johnny's got nothing on we'll him! Very Johnny! Nurse, get over here with that paper. Hurry, a big sheet Yeah, time. you're gonna lay the paper on top of him and press it down. Climb on top, right around. Let's get some good coverage. Come on. Come on, jump shot. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right it. Not too much. Don't tear it. He's gonna be collectible. Don't oversaturate. Oh, uh, this isn't what it looks like. It's for a good cause. Oh, we really need the money. We wouldn't have to violate the dead if people contributed to our Kickstarter. This is pure genius. Everyone knows artists are worth more dead. Okay, okay, let's see what you got. There now, would you look at Incredible. that? Incredible. Available for purchase after our show, all reasonable offers considered. Just see one of our friendly nurses. Enough chili shower. Make another one. Hurry, before the blood congeals. Come on, come on, that corpse won't print itself. Okay, well, with all this art making and creative expression, you're probably wondering, where's the education? I thought this was going to be more like traffic school. It's really more like Montessori. See, we believe people could learn about safety more organically, the way you get to know a friend or a co-worker who spends lunch alone teaching himself clean up. Empathy is actually the whole basis of my new campaign to help drivers get over their debilitating fear of airbags. If that's an actual problem. It's natural to be afraid of a friend we haven't met yet. Especially a friend who inflates suddenly in your face and is all over you like those slow motion test films where you see them getting smothered and it's like the giant, like the blob. Uh, right. Or, or seatbelts. Seatbelts are a perpetual problem for a lot of people. Uh, getting them to buckle up. Probably more buckle important than that. Well, that's a blast from the past. But we're talking about airbags. Yeah. I, I think buckle up's been done, Abram, as in uh, to death. Oh. Maybe uh, we can move forward into the 1980s. Oh, look at Cindy Lauper. Oh, there goes Boy George, everyone. Buckle up, buckle up. We're going to get real cutting edge with the crash test dummies now. No, oh, forget them. It's not about the crash test dummies. You get so mad the whenever I... The crash test dummies are so great. Why is it they can't seem to stay out of rehab? Well, the one's not. The TM one? He's dead. He set his house on fire and shot three firemen. Don't you even read? What is your point? Airbags are airbags. You don't have to do anything or turn them on. I mean, what is so mysterious? It's like big balloons and... Balloons go bang and they're gone. Airbags go bang and suddenly they're alive. That's some kind of zombie balloon coming back from the dead. All in your face? Pressing? A maple egg? What happened to you? <laughs> that white ball in the, the prisoner chasing ball. 
Well, I think it was Rover. It was called Rover. Rover. Though the name doesn't actually appear until episodes five or six, but the, the Well, it's creepy, and I can see why children are afraid. Airbags. I'm talking about airbags. And printing up a bunch of coloring books is supposed to help some Coloring pages for the contest you keep forgetting. Or maybe you can't be bothered to post the entries? Do you know how children color RT? It's awful. It's just a damn ball. And they can't even begin to stay in the lines. You've been tossing them out. You're not well. The coloring contest builds airbag empathy. Kids identify with them. He has problems just like them. His name is Elwood. You really don't get it. No, You're just I... Like the rest. It, it really is like the song. It, he really is misunderstood. Oh, the song. Yes, the song. It's uh, track one, please. By the sea, alone and free, an airbag can be what an airbag will be. He feels at home when all alone. He's misunderstood, his name is Elwood. They fear him because he is different, and by prejudice he's sadly bound. Soft and round, no food around, he probably eats sand right off of the ground. He's kicked about, they drove him out. He smothered no one, so why must he run? Oh, Elwood, why can't they forgive you? You're cursed like the wandering Jew. Alone in blue, so misconstrued. Oh, Elwood, we all should love you. So that's it. It's, uh, it's just uh, it's like a beach ball. But Jewish? No, white. He, he's kind of a Casper the Friendly Ghost, floating around, having adventures, getting misunderstood. Uh, every episode, they get together with a different famous person who died in a car crash. Princess, Princess Dark. in that creepy mask? Is that the sign-spinning lady from the Little Caesars you always want to leave notes for? So, uh, eventually, Elwood meets other airbags, and they form a band called the Fun Bags, and Princess Di here is their singer, and they, they get a bus, and there's merchandise. I do have a plan, you know. First, we give it away. We have a street team passing out Elwood balloons to the kids. It'll be a learning experience. They, they can fill them themselves using my air hose. If they actually touch the balloons and, and hold them while they expand on my hose, they'll, they'll see there's nothing scary or unnatural. Uh, and... The parents will be right there. And we could get waivers. It's my hose. I should be able to say who touches it. What's going on over here? Oh, their they're clothing. White, stretchy, like airbags. He's reacting the only way he knows how. So afraid. Like a cornered animal. Everyone, take these uniforms off quickly now. Uniforms off. Uh, oh, don't interfere. It's process, process. Don't interfere. It could be dangerous. You're the one who's dangerous. I, Have you even seen an airbag? You're insane. No, and I haven't put my head inside a cement. Oh, yes. What? What are you doing? These things are already loose. Okay, now, here we go. 
You've got issues, RT, and we are going to deal with them. You seem upset. Anybody who's not too busy getting naked, please help me. I need the oxygen out of the ambulance. If it's not too much trouble, that is. All if right, it's now we're going to. Yes, the airbag goes. In. Okay, yeah, you're getting it. I really don't need help. You're going to watch a real airbag in action, RT. You're going to hold on to the airbag while it inflates, and you're not going to let it go until you're better. I'm not saying I don't have issues, but this is hardly a... Full immersion, RT! It's the only way! It worked for him! Yes, him, him, not me. We didn't come here for me. Let's talk about him, his Our accident. Our RT! Don't you understand the bags, the hose? Accident? It's all one thing! Why do you think he bit off his tongue? I castration don't know. art! Subconscious <laughs> self castration! The Oedipus complex! That's why you're afraid of your mother's airbags! Unresolved mother issues! I don't have a mother, I'm a robot! That's why they're unresolved! I could explain our degrading truth. <laughs> Yes, it's why we treat the nurses like slaves! Or cheap eye candy! It's not our fault! No, no, it's not! My mother was killed by poachers! I could pretty much get away with murder! I've carried so much guilt all my life, Abram! But today, today I let go! Do it, RT! Let it go! I'm doing it! You do it! You do it too! I'm doing it! I'm forgiving myself! Do it! Do it hard! You do it with me! I'm doing it! I'm forgiving myself like it's 1999! I am too! So much letting go! So... so big! So... big... It's gonna explode! I'm too! We're doing it! Together! No more fear! No guilt! For each other! Any minute! Together! Doing it! Oh, Abram! Abram! RT! I love you! I love you, RT! Uh, uh, well, uh, like, I, like I said, those uh, paintings are uh, available from the nurses. Yeah, so, uh... <clears throat> Do you want to take a break? I, I don't really, uh, That's good? Uh, okay, well, that's it. Uh, uh, thanks, good night. Yeah. <laughs>